Jake Ludington here, and I'm going to show you how you can take any wireless webcam and turn it into a solar-powered home security system. Before I show you how to put this all together on the outside of your house, I'm going to walk through real quickly the parts that we're going to use. Um, any webcam will work. In this case, I am using a Linksys GPTZ internet camera with audio, partially because I wanted the ability to not only have a video camera, but be able to control the video camera remotely. You need to have a battery pack of some kind. I am using the iSun uh, battery pack that uh, supports up to 10 AA batteries and 10 Lenmar 2500 milliamp batteries to give me plenty of juice so that the uh, power won't be completely drained overnight when there is no sun. Connecting the camera to the battery pack is this DC converter uh, which is switchable for uh, 3, 6, 9 or 12 volts depending on what your particular camera needs. Here you can see the uh, selection of tips that are available uh, making it so that this adapter is very universal. Last but not least, you want a solar panel that um, can grab plenty of sunlight power and also has a, a long enough cord that you can mount it appropriately with a south facing exposure. If your webcam has mounting brackets on the back, be sure to measure the space between mounting holes so you can properly place screws for mounting. Measure and mark the mounting surface for the wireless camera before screwing in the screws used for mounting the camera. Many of these wireless webcams require a little bit of configuration before you bring them online. And this is important because you want to make sure that you haven't mounted this on a wall somewhere that's inaccessible before you do the configuration. So. Uh, step through the process of configuring it wired to your router at home uh, using your computer to make sure everything works before you mount this on a wall somewhere and find out that you have to tear it back down. Alright, so now that we got the camera up, um, I'm going to use a couple of these brackets that uh, are typically used for holding plumbing pipe and I'm going to mount the battery pack to the wall. As you can see, uh, or maybe you can't see, you might run the risk of splitting the paint when you do this. Um, don't tell your wife. The other thing that I'm going to tell you that you should do in this process is whatever battery pack you use, you can use the same one from uh, iSun that I have here or any other battery pack, but the key to this really is that you want to make sure that you charge the batteries fully before you get started because you don't want to put your batteries out there completely dead and rely 100% on the solar power to bring it all online because you might be waiting a while before you can actually uh, test out your security camera. I'm going to use a similar um, plumbing bracket to mount the DC converter to the, the wall as well. We'll clean up the cabling mess later uh, by tacking this down with some cable ties once everything is uh, verified to be working. Make sure your solar panel has an unobstructed south facing view so that it gets maximum sunlight. If you have large shade trees on the south side of your home, this may require mounting the solar panel on the roof or constructing some kind of mounting bracket that brings the solar panel clear of obstructions. Solar panel manufacturers generally sell extension cabling if you need a longer cable run for unusual placement. Here in Seattle it's a little late in the day for sun, so uh, the batteries are probably going to take over for the camera as soon as I plug it in. We should be able to see that this does work when I plug in the battery pack to the webcam. You can see that the power light is on. Uh, one of the things that this is going to hinge on is whether or not it can find the wireless network. And it looks like it did. Um, you can see the wireless light is lit up and um, it has an IP address up here that you probably can't see on the video, but is in fact there. Assuming you connected everything correctly, you can now launch your camera's web interface from the comfort of your desktop and watch the front porch or wherever you put your camera. If you're really ambitious, the next step is to install an intercom that allows you to talk to the people that you see on your front porch. For a complete list of parts and detailed instructions on how to build a solar-powered wireless security camera, go to jakeleddington.com, wax solar cam.